Hey, I'm Elsa and this is Baron and we live in this 13 foot scamp trailer. We've been talking a bit lately about our winter plans. Last year we pretty much just skipped the winter. We went to Arizona and traveled around for five months. And this year we want to stay in Colorado for at least part of the winter to see what camping in the winter is like. How we used to camp in the scamp in the cold is we would use a propane heater, but propane creates a whole lot of moisture in the air. So we would use the heater, everything would get really moist, then we'd turn it off, everything would freeze, then we'd turn it back on again in the morning or something, and everything would melt inside the scamp, and that did not work. It was also a little bit sketchy to be using propane inside of the scamp. We'd have to ventilate as well as we could, and we didn't really Especially have a fan. Especially the kind of heater that we had, because yeah. it wasn't. It was, it's just a sunflower little propane head. So what we would like to do instead of using a propane stove is install a wood-burning stove. If you remember last November, we made a video about staying in Brian Galleon's four-season tent with a wood-burning stove, and it was so cool, so much fun. It got so warm in there. On accident, I got it to be 112 degrees Fahrenheit one day. It's just amazing that the, the canvas tent can hold in all that heat. And we think that we could build something custom for the scamp. It's basically that tent, but built onto the side of the scamp. So the tent will give us an extra space to live in. It would be too cold to live outside like we do now. And we would be able to use a bigger stove, allowing for a longer burn time so we wouldn't have to stoke the fire as often. And we could also cook on that stove because it would be running all the time. We could put a kettle on top to boil water or we could cook cinnamon rolls like we did last year. It would have to be thick canvas, four season tent camping canvas that would keep in the heat and also keep out all the wind. It has to be a strong structure so that it won't blow away in the wind and so that it can handle the load of of a snowstorm. It's got to have proper ventilation for airflow, which also means we have to securely attach the tent to the scamp or at least cover the top of the scamp with the canvas so that leaks from melting snow don't get inside. And it has to be relatively easy to break down and transport because we'll be moving it about every two weeks. The reason we want to winter camp at all because it will be pretty challenging, but it will provide us a really cool kind of primal experience to learn how to exist and live in a completely different climate than we're used to. The solitude will be nice too, and we'll be able to cook gluttonously because the bears are asleep. We also want to snowboard, and we just yeah. love Colorado. It's hard to think of not being here. And a lot less people will be here. They'll be in the... The ski towns. Right, but, but not so much smaller towns. Or the national forest land. It'll yeah. be empty, so it'll be all to ourselves. We want to get all of you involved in this experience with us. So we're kind of asking now for help. If you've ever built something like this, or if you have experience working with canvas, or sourcing canvas, or building frames, or know any companies we should work with, or other humans, please reach out and let us know. Leave a comment below or send either of us an email. This will be a pretty fun thing, and I think you'll enjoy watching us freeze our asses off <laughs> in the Colorado mountains over the winter. If you don't have any experience or any advice and you do still want to get involved, feel free to buy one of my wood stickers or leave a donation on my website at elsaray.com. This is gonna be a really fun project and I'm excited. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.